what is Fruity Stereo Enhancer and what does it do to your sounds? So this is a really cool question. And um, let's go jump directly into FL Studio. So uh, let me see what that can do. Hmm. I would like to get a mono sound. Uh, let's see. Um, what can I do here? Maybe let's do some loops. Let's use a classic drum loop from FL Studio. Let's put these at 90 BPMs. Let's maybe lower the volume because this is very loud. Okay, so let's put this on track one and let's make this mono. So now the sound, the drum loop sounds mono. Let's bring Stereo Enhancer and now let's bring also a tool to monitor, monitor what we are doing or what is happening in the, the audio. So we have now stu uh, Fruity Stereo Enhancer and we also have the analyzer here, pass analyzer from Waves. You could use any other uh, analyzer here, but if we I now play, you see that we have here a very mono signal. And if we look at this, we have left and right in this spectrum analyzer, or I don't know if this spectrum analyzer, if that's the correct word. Let me see, by the way. Let's see, my, my, I, made, I might have meter stereo position maybe this position yeah the position stuff here but uh, let's use this one because it has more stuff there okay so let's focus here on the position uh, meter and as you can see we have left right and if our our sound just gives us a line here in the in the center means that we have mono so there's no left and right signal there's just mono signal and uh, if we go to the mixer and if we start playing around with the panning, we see now that we only have signal now on the left. If I clear this and I put it on the right, we are only have signal now on the right. So this gives us an indication of where, in terms of balance, we have our signal. So now if I play, we have this mono. Let's now try to see what's happening here. Uh, we have this, the stereo separator. And um, as we can see here, if we go to this side, we have a minus. If we go to this side, we have a plus. Meaning that if we go here, we are 100% merged, meaning that we are in mono. If we go here, we are 100% separated, means that this is having some stereo effect to the, um, the signal. Then we have here the phase offset, and this gives us some phase to the right or phase to the left in milliseconds. We have here some options that we can set none, the invert, so we can invert the phases of the left and right. And then, of course, we have panning and volume. So it's very simple in terms of the knobs that we have here. But let's start here with the stereo separation. So if our signal is already mono, so if we put this right away to the right, there's no ch change. But if we start now going from here to positive, we start to get some, uh, let me see what's going on. This should give me some steady separation. Here, hmm, that's strange. It should give me some uh, steady separation. This should give some. Um, okay, so what? Let me see if I can explain what's going on. Let's put this in stereo. Okay, I think I know what's going on now. So uh, let's put this back in mono. So what's going on here is that this steady separation uh, just adds some delay between the signal meaning that it will play the left and right channel with some delay. And because we have this delay, it is going to create some kind of stereo effect. 
uh, it's going to separate the starting point of the the, the channels or the the two channels and it's going to give some some stereo field um, effect I think that's the best way to put it uh, but what's ha happening here is our source is mono so our source does not have stereo signal so what's going on is that is taking <clears throat> because is moving or, or giving some delay between the two channels what's going on is it's creating some phasing effect into the channels and because we are starting the channel a little bit further let's say the right channel a little bit further than the left channel what's going to happen is that the signal will become uh, will start to attenu attenuate because the phases are different and instead of it could also sum but most of the time it will uh, subtract and this is what we get when we have a uh, stereo separation here when we apply stereo separation when we st start to merge or separate the channels uh, the signal uh, becomes um, weaker as you can see it's a little bit less volume here it is louder here it's um, softer and that's what co what's going on so it's giving some stereo separation or it's applying some uh, delay between the two channels and that's why we start to see less volume in the mono signal because the mono signal has the the same information on both channels but they are separated in terms of milliseconds and this creates some phasing effect which decreases the volume if we now look at this phase offset here so let's play around with the phase offset and when we start to get some phase offset we got we get already some steady separation here and you can see that now we have some signal going to the left going to the mono and also going to the right and we also have some anti-phase section here and this is how you can um, create some uh, some uh, uh, stereo effects uh, with this you can either separate them or apply some phase offset and phase offset basically means that the channels will not start in the same position they will start in different positions but at the same time and that's basically what uh, is happening here and what's going on here is that sometimes we hear more to the left and more to the right is one of the consequences of changing the phase offset here so if you want it a very small let's say one millisecond we have now already some stereo separation or some stereo signal and then we can now make it mono again or add some steady separation even further we could use pre and now it's way way more so this pre and post will determine if this will be before the steady separation or after so as you can see now it applies if i put mono we have the signal back back at mono again or kind of kind of mono and then we can even apply some stereo, more stereo separation and we can really change and shape our sound then we have here the invert so if we invert the phase of one it will sound really really strange and we can now see that our phase or uh, anti-phase here it's going way way crazier, crazier than before and this is not something that you want in your tracks you want a minimum uh, anti-phase here because this will not sound good in mono speakers and it will uh, uh, attenuate your signal so you you don't want that in your tracks or you can you want to avoid this um, anti-phase too much it will always be there but if you can avoid it that's the better and you can see that whenever the, the more phase offset we add the more we get in terms of anti-phase you know so this is not the best way to to do uh, to get not the, how can i say this is not the best thing to get the anti-phase so you want to minimize the anti-phase and um, yeah that's pretty much it uh, what else can i talk about this plugin here it's a very simple plugin that allows you to give some uh, stereo enhancements 
enhance your stereo field but you also have to be careful uh, with it because you don't want to overdo it because this can really uh, damage your tracks and really ruin the way they sound.